Russian soldiers are calling the private military unit the Stream Battalion, or POTOK in Russian, and they're saying state-owned energy giant Gazprom sent them to join the war in Ukraine. A wounded man says he fought in Ukraine for this new Gazprom security force, which attached to another so-called private military company that has been linked to Russia's Ministry of Defense. He says he was trained in Tambov in western Russia. We shared the location with Maxar Technologies, and they confirmed that satellites periodically pick up troops training at facilities and ranges there. Scripps News has learned that major Russian state infrastructure organizations, including Gazprom, now have large forces as private military groups grow rapidly in Russia. According to U.S. intelligence, some of these private armies have crossed the border into Ukraine to support Vladimir Putin's war, but also possibly to compete with the Wagner Group, the notorious paramilitary leading the bloody fight for Bakhmut. The competition, apparently with Putin's approval. No one would be ever allowed to get involved competing with Wagner if this was not preliminary discussed with Putin specific. Vladimir Milov, who served as Putin's deputy minister of energy in his early days, tells us Gazprom's security forces have historically been a mix of veterans and former police and security service officers. There is no comparable scale of mass uh, recruitment, which means that if they are really involved uh, in Ukraine, then the extent should be significantly smaller than that of Wagner because the, the drafting capabilities simply do not match each other. Director Galaril. The rivalry appears to have spilled over onto social media. Wagner forces accuse Gazprom's POTOK fighters of abandoning their positions, allowing Ukraine to recapture land. In turn, men from POTOK say Wagner forces armed them poorly and threatened to shoot them if they withdrew. Dmitry Ozolotukhin, Ukraine's former deputy minister of information policy, says these paramilitaries don't just provide cover for Moscow's official military operations. They're the brands of Russia's power players. This is a permanent conflict, and this is the structure that has been used by Vladimir Putin of how to control these people to make them conflict with, uh, with each other. The former senior official says that despite Wagner's assistance on the battlefield, some want to weaken its increasingly vocal financier, Yevgeny Prigozhin. Yevgeny Prigozhin uh, uh, creates uh, uh, s uh, a serious danger. So he can uh, criticize uh, Minister of Defense Shoigu. He can even somehow criticize the administration of the president. And this is very dangerous for the, um, the existence of empire in the Russian Federation and for security bodies who are guarding this empire. They want to change the situation and they want, to, uh, they want him to shut up. Analysts say that Prigozhin's unorthodox recruitment in prisons has angered Russia's domestic security service, the FSB, because they had worked to put these convicts behind bars. And with these private armies fighting for the same cause, but seemingly pitted against each other, what this suggests is that Putin doesn't want anyone to get too powerful. Chance?